Well, you may wonder what I'm doing scrabbling up the side of this hill. Well, I'm in the foothills of the Pyrenees to experience one of the most bizarre sports. It's extreme motorcycle hill climbing. Now, the idea of this event is for riders with their machines to start at the base of the hill and literally blast their way up as far as they possibly can. How they do that, I have no idea. Now, besides all the other lunatic competitors this weekend, we've got Jonathan Pearson, who's a journalist from Bike Magazine, who's done this event before, and he's coming back to do it again. Mad. Jonathan, give me a bit of detail. How does this actually work? What you'll have to do tomorrow morning is, um, is set off from, from the start gate, just over there. Um, and you'll have to do nothing more complicated than, than simply rev the bike up, let the clutch out and go. There's nothing, uh, nothing technical about it. And I, I'm just, my, my aim is just to then go as high as I possibly can. As high as you can, yeah. The, the, the most majority of riders will be getting to probably between 75 and 100, I would think. That's an estimate. But um, if you're getting to sort of 125 metre mark, then you'll be, uh, you're doing well. I'm doing all right, yeah, am I? you're cooking. Yeah. What, what type of person do you think kind of gets involved in this sport? Um, they, they come from an um, off-road background, usually, uh, on the whole. They're going to be motocross riders, uh, sort of motocross sidecar racers, maybe trials riders. Um, is, is that a real sort of asset to it then? I mean, obviously those bikes are quite small and this is sort of like they've gone to the extreme with this, haven't they? Yeah, absolutely. It is an asset because you're going to be, uh, they're going to be the sort of people who know how to make a back tyre grip and what's, then they're going to know what to expect a bike to be doing when it's going up a hill and when it's, when it's basically not, not grippy. <laughs> bikes are more about um, outright power, just hu huge big engines, big fat back tyres and they're, they're just as specialised because they've, they've evolved over a number of years and they've, they've become the shape, the weird shape that they are for a very good reason. Do you think that, do you think the people have a fascination with this sort of the engineering side of it as well because I mean they're all individually built and they're, they're quite protective about their machines, do you think that's part of it as well? Yeah I'm sure it is, basically to get the best bike you have to make it yourself uh, and I'm sure that they all have their own theories about what makes the best <laughs> the best hill climbing bike, you know, the sizes, you'll see it by walking around the paddock, they're different, they've got different sized tyres, different lengths, swinging arms, they've got, some have got two small engines bolted together, some have got one big fat engine. Um, it's, the, the achievement is, is as much to do with building a machine as it is to do with trying to ride up the hill, I think. Well, I'm walking around the paddock area here and there's some phenomenal, strange looking machinery. I mean, look at this for instance. This is two Yamaha sort of inline engines. I'm not exactly sure what they are, but I'm sure maybe you guys would know. It's just the length of these bikes are, are phenomenal. This has got to be about eight foot long, massive monoshock and capped off by this incredible wheel with huge bolts out the back. I'm assuming that's obviously for traction. Ah, here we go. Here's my old favourite, the old GSX R1100. Fantastic lump, great starting, great starting point. Now, what amazes me here, as you can hear in the background, they've got no exhaust systems. Straight out the manifold, saw the bottom off, and that's it, nothing else. These swinging arms, they're all custom made. This is not something that you'd buy. These guys have engineered this themselves to get as much traction up the hills as possible. This is Robier from, uh, from Toulouse. He's just been explaining to me about this, this amazing machine. He started off with a 750 lump from the Super Tenere, the big trail bike. Now, as you can see, as, as he's actually holding in his hand here, they've incorporated um, Citroen suspension from a, a Citroen car, and they've actually had to extend the back here to accommodate this huge wheel that they've, uh, they've decided to use over here. This is from a car. I don't actually know which, which type of car, but they've modified the tires. This is what he's gonna go up there tomorrow. Absolutely amazing. <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> well, yet again, another extraordinary looking machine. It, it's based on a, what looks like a mobilette, actually, but um, I can see from the, uh, the back here, that's a Kawasaki, and another engine maker, I have absolutely no idea, and unfortunately, Lauren doesn't speak English, and my French is very, very, very limited, but it's, it's an unbelievable machine. And what's fascinating is the exhaust system he's got here as well. It looks like he's actually stolen some plumbing here from the bathroom, because he's actually literally got copper pipe in here for the exhaust system. Well, this is, uh, is Jean-Marc on his machine, and like all of these bikes, they're, they're incredibly designed. He has a real mixture of, of, of makes and models. We have a Suzuki front end, the K1000 
KTM frame, which he's actually had to, like all these bikes, he's had to cut and extend to fit in this massive Yamaha engine. And just, uh, if you pop to the back here, just to actually cap it off, he's got a Renault tyre on the back. Now he was explaining to me a little bit earlier that the best combination for hill climbing is trials riding and motocross. That's the best combination. So, best of luck for the race tomorrow. We'll see. Do you, um, do you have to be a little crazy to do this sport? Yeah, yeah, sure. sure. <laughs> Um, why, why do you pick a Harley Davidson? Ah, because it's a uh, Prestige, the Harley Davidson, mm -hmm. and it's very good uh, engine, and uh, it's number one uh, in USA in uh, hill climbing. When when you're riding the bike, do you have fear? <laughs> fear? Yes, 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 yes. In the in the start, okay, but after this, very good. Nothing. Oh, nothing. Finish. <laughs> Le pilote qui gagnait à l'épreuve d'arrêt à Pierre Savartin l'année dernière. Oh, il est parti vite. Oh, il est fou. Il est chaud comme la brise de l'Oscar. Allez, allez. On va se mettre sur le jeu. C'est fait. Oui, on passe. On passe. On passe. Allez, ça va être fait. As this day comes to a close, the French are doing exactly what they do best, which is socialising. For me, I'm going to head back to the hotel to try and build a bit of Dutch courage because I'm panicking about tomorrow.